everyone welcome to living life with lisa lisa hi so today you all we will be doing a banging fried chicken we are using the recipe created by otis pelmer otis is jazz and otis youtube channel otis has a cookbook out you all and it is banging so i suggest you all go over and purchase the cookbook so you can try some of these recipes i did not put the actual re recipe in this video because i want you all to go over and to support his book yes and we're going to get into this video if you are new here please consider subscribing to the channel you will love it here okay now let's get into this video the first thing we should do you all is we should get a container or a bowl and put our buttermilk buffalo sauce salt and black pepper in it mix it together add your chicken and cover the container and put it in the refrigerator for two hours All right, you all, so here I am showing you all of the seasonings that I plan on using that the recipe called for. I tried to stick to it as close as I possibly could. I can say that some of the ingredients here I've never used before so I am grateful for that because that's getting me out of my comfort zone to be able to try new things. So here we have the flour and we're going to be adding cornstarch to the flour as you can see here. And the recipe calls for a certain amount in measurements, but I just eyeballed mine. So now I'm going to be adding some onion powder. And then the good old garlic powder, y'all. Yes. oregano and like I said in his cookbook he has the exact measurements for all of the seasonings and he has the exact measurements for um, how many pieces of chicken you should have so as you all saw I just dropped in that white pepper that's something I've never used before is the white pepper So now we're going to add the cayenne. And y'all know the cayenne pepper is a little spicy, so you might be, don't want to be too heavy on that. And we're also going to be adding the Tony's Creole seasoning in there as well. And that may bring a little bit of a spice as well too. And there's that good old paprika. Look at that dark red color. Now this is very colorful with all these ingredients. Y'all see that curry powder? It's going in there too. I know some of y'all are probably saying, ooh, that's a lot of spices. Yes, y'all, but it's a reason for it. That's why y'all need to go and get the cookbook. Margarine. 
Okay, now that's something new, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That's something new that I'm using that I've never used before. So I'm excited to be using the new um, ingredients here. So now I'm just going to kind of mix it all together. Make sure all those seasonings are mixed up with the flour and the cornstarch. All right now you all, I have already um, taken my chicken out of the refrigerator. I have battered it and I'm just waiting for this oil to get to its proper temperature which is supposed to be 350 and then we're going to add the chicken to this oil and it's going to be some banging fried chicken. There it is, y'all. It's in the oil and it is cooking up something. I know it's going to be crispy and crunchy, you all. Voila! Here is my banging fried chicken. Y'all, it looks and smells so good. It turned out perfectly y'all y'all need to go over and get the cookbook and try these recipes this is the first recipe that I have tried it and of course we had to make us a little cranberry drink um, adult beverage to go along with these banging fried chicken by Otis Palmer thank you guys for watching see you next time we just live in life with Lisa, Lisa. Hey, it's nice to meet ya. We just live in life with Lisa, Lisa. We just live in life. We just live in life with Lisa, Lisa. Hey, it's nice to meet ya. Gotta do, yeah. It's scroll on down and click that button if you wanna see more dope content in that.